Well, to butcher an old John Lovitz line, that's the ticket unveiled a few months ago. But now the most wanted Indy 500 ticket in decades, a reserved seat to the now sold out 100th running of the Indy 500. And on the front of it, the reigning 500 champ in Juan Pablo Montoya. You know, nowadays so much comes with winning the Indy 500. Appearances, uh, West Coast, East Coast, interviews everywhere. But at its heart, there is one thing that immortal Immortalizes the champion unlike any other, and that's having their likeness on the Borg Warner Trophy. And this year, done in a whole new way. In fact, you could say nowadays, Juan Pablo Montoya, well, he's the one to see on the trophy. Montoya is going to win the 99th run. Not 12 hours after the Indianapolis 500 comes to a close, does the work begin to immortalize the victory on the Borg Warner Trophy? Pictures are taken of the champion, which helps sculptor Will Barons shape the likeness. But this time, a couple of firsts. Wow, and did that from uh, from those pictures. A personal visit from the winning driver. You see, yeah. Have any picture of that? Oh, sure, yeah. And a full-size likeness in an effort to enhance the smaller one, which will make for Juan's second on the trophy. Yeah, you're down here in the second row somewhere. Did you find you? There you are, yeah. The visit comes in September, and Barron doesn't waste any time fine-tuning. Hey, I got your chin too, too pointed down this way. I got you too big up in, in the temples. <laughs> yeah, this is helping a lot. It's amazing is you look at the tools, and he grabs the knife and stops the knife, and, and you go, like, what the heck is he doing? Yeah, we're getting there. This is good, though. That's going to make, make the baby one look even better. Yeah, yeah. Will keeps each mini likeness he's made. I've got all the molds yeah. of all 26 I've done. That's kind of with the major nose. Yeah. Look at that thing. <laughs> Pretty amazing. But he's always hoping to improve the process. <laughs> you can do features, but you know, kind of the basic structure of the face, it's, it, it really is hard to see that in photographs. I had it all wrong on this. But he's saying the same thing with driving. You know, it's, you know one thing is the technique, the other thing is doing it. You know, That's when right. you do it, it just comes out naturally. Yeah. You can either do it or you can't. Yeah. It's like this, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, this got a lot better here. That's why something like this is fun. It's, uh, this is just the portrait. We've got enough there. And two hours later. That is pretty freaking amazing. Damn ugly. <laughs> Of course, it doesn't end there. Slight changes and several casts are made to bring it to its silver form some two months later. And then to the next step, putting the likeness on the trophy, which is now upside down. This is the base, and do the honors, Will. We're going to take off the bottom of the trophy, and <laughs> come on. Look at the inside of the Borg Warner Trophy, where you'll find Will's name printed for posterity and other secrets. Even right. this has changed over the years, right? The base itself. It has changed. In um, 2004, they rebuilt this entire thing because the this base under the under the old cup was smaller, and yeah. they ran out of out of squares or spaces for the winners. <laughs> but this is something we see every year. Okay? That's right. Or at least Will does as he begins to drill into the base, preparing for Juan's likeness to get bolted inside. The moment I wait for is when this gets mounted and then I, I look at the collection, you know, as, they, as he joins his, his uh, fellow winners here. A few careful turns as to not scratch the silver. A polish here and there, Baron's 26th likeness is complete. This is the ultimate set piece right here. <laughs> it is the ultimate piece, yeah. This is most of my career in years on this uh, trophy. A career that's immortalized the careers of others, and this time in a whole new way. The time you spent with him is directly reflected in the likeness. I, I think so. Yeah. I think so. It, it certainly enriches my work on it, and I think in a subtle way it does work its way into the, into the silver uh, image. It, it certainly made it a much more enjoyable experience for me. 
A whole new look. Montoya, by the way, has a has an idea. Depending on which, how many wins you have, you get a different metallic head. So one-time winners are bronze, two-time winners silver, three-time winners gold, four-time winners are platinum, which is a great idea if you would have thought of that back in the 30s when they built the trophy. But anyway, still a great idea, though, Juan. Got to go back and reset some of those multiple <laughs> yeah, winners here.